Here's another requested shorty where I was asked to check out Gay and Wilson's The Diner. What caught my attention was the title. I had no clue who Gay and Wilson was. So being a cartoon geek, I decided to look up his work. Primarily, he's an illustrator that's in the vein of Gary Larson and Charles Adams. Larson in that there's a sense of innocence that makes his one-panel comics work, and Adams for the dark overtones. Personally, I can't say that I'm a fan of his comics. On one hand, it's neat to see dark comics that don't have to follow the countless tropes of dark cartoons. Rather than illustrating in black and white, the comics are colorful and welcoming to a world of morbid horror. They give it like a poisonous snake that's nice and colorful but deadly to touch. On the other hand, I do like reading comics in The New Yorker, or really that's the only reason anybody picks up The New Yorker these days, and I feel as if the other illustrators have made more of an impact. I personally find his illustrations too loose and less structured, however I know other people don't see it that way. Stephen Colbert, professional skateboarders, and even Neil Gaiman look up to Wilson. Maybe it will grow on me, maybe it won't. So what's this short about? Simply put, it's a haunted mansion story taking place in a greasy spoon diner. But instead of skeletons and ghosts, evil shape-shifting chefs and meals that only Satan's finest servers could serve. This is some of that early 90s animation that tries to blend computer backgrounds with hand-drawn characters and props. Like most shorts of movies that take inspiration from one-panel cartoonists, the short works as an embodiment of most of Wilson's work. Now this is gonna seem like a weird complaint, but the score is... Eh. I guess it's supposed to be light and bubbly to create the sense of ambivalence you get out of its cartoons, but for me it's just like kitty fanfare music you hear in bad kids movies. Now as far as rooting for a main character in a short amount of time, the short's protagonist goes on this journey through Hell's Kitchen and I actually root for him. I want to see him get out of this unscathed. I think as far as animation aficionados and horror buffs, they'll get a kick out of it. But that's as far as recommendations go. I think really young kids might be put off by the morbid imagery, but hey, I don't even remember what I was watching as a kid, so I can't really speak for them. Otherwise, finding a version of this film is really hard to watch. On YouTube, it's pretty laggy, even as far as short films go. It's worth checking out once, and you might find yourself watching it again. Up to a point, it's hard to see if an actual DVD of this exists. I might not be the guy to go out and buy it, but if you are, hey, more power to you.